Welcome back everyone. Today is the day that Hollyland is releasing the Lark M2. This microphone system is a wireless lav microphone system. So it comes with two button sized microphones that also come with a magnet on the backside, which you're supposed to then attach to your shirt. And then this button sized little thing right here works as your lav microphone instead of having a a long cord and attached to your the neck of your shirt you have this thing as you can see up on the top there's space where your audio is captured that's where the audio enters into the lav and then it is transferred straight to your phone or your camera and that is done with any of these attachments these are the phone attachments for any kind of phone it just attaches in the bottom like this and the green shows that there is a microphone attached so that you have signal and then all you have to do is go to your camera. So if you're filming yourself, your audio is getting laid onto the video footage as, as you're recording. So in post, you're not having to just lay audio or match it up or anything like that. The key features of the system are that the lav microphones are button sized so they can be hidden on your clothes very easily or just go unnoticed. So the size of these transmitters or microphones are so small. Yeah, it's like a button or a quarter or something. The second is that it records in 24-bit audio. It's not 32-bit float. Don't let that be a deal breaker because 32-bit float, just pay attention to your settings and where you're recording. If you're in situations where you're gonna be blowing out your audio, just don't record there. You don't always have to have 32-bit float audio. Next is that it is universally compatible. It's gonna be compatible with pretty much all modern cell phones out there right now. And then also this will work with cameras up to like the FX3, basically all DSLRs and mirrorless cameras this system will work with. I don't believe it would work with my FX6, but that's okay because if I'm shooting with that system, I'm probably not gonna be using these microphones. The last two capabilities that come with this system is the advanced ENC, which is their environmental noise adaptation or cancellation, where it kind of adapts to the noise that's going on around it. And then lastly, it boasts a 40 hour battery life. I'm not sure if it's the whole system in general or if it's one of the buttons alone or if it's a combination, but 40 hours is a lot. So to set up the Lark M2 for camera use, it's really just two simple steps. First, you take the receiver that comes with the two button microphones and you place it on the top of your camera in the hot shoe mount. Next, you take the connecting wire, plug it in to the side of the receiver that you just put on the camera and then plug the other end into where you would plug in a microphone that would, that would typically sit on the top of your camera. Then after that, all you have to do is place a microphone on yourself or on your subject, just like when you're on your phone, when the signals turn green, that means you have a connection between your microphone and your camera. And we can Test it out. Now turn on your camera. And now you can see when I speak, you get can see the levels on your camera. So I've got mine right here on my shirt. Oh, I don't know where we're going. Right here. Yours is right there. Yep. So we're recording dual. I can dual. So it's both being recorded onto the footage, both microphones. This side button right here you can click that and change the color of that marker on top of the receiver. And when you turn it to blue, basically you're getting two audio tracks. You're not mixing those together. You're not, you're not having them lay on top of each other on the same audio track. Library on the fifth floor, which is supposed to be the quiet floor. 
I thought we would bring the microphones up here to test it out to see how well it does in a quiet scenario. A lot of times people when they talk into their phones it's really loud but I thought we'd do the opposite to see how well it picks up a whisper in a setting like this. It's really nice too that on the receiver that's on top of the camera you can adjust the gain with a dial so if you are whispering in a place like this or if you're going to be speaking really loudly you just adjust the gain appropriately so like here it's up as high as it can go so it, so it is capturing our sound at a higher level at a higher gain so we can hear what we're saying and hear better so right now i'm walking through a kind of forest area park area that's lots of tall trees if you can hear it now you may not be able to there are, is lots of wind it's going through these trees and there's lots of noise to me but I'm hoping with these microphones that it's gonna cancel out a lot of that noise. Maybe it's just a subtle noise. Okay, so we're gonna be doing an audio test of wearing these underneath jackets and also wearing them underneath jackets that are maybe a little noisy to wear, like windbreakers or just squishy things. So yeah, here we go. What a lovely day today. Perfect. Swing my arms. <laughs> I'm about to go on a run. I have the microphone attached to my shirt right here, just magnetically. I'm not even wearing the lanyard. Just trying to see if there's gonna be any problems wearing this while running. So it's kind of probably gonna simulate movement, wind, anything like that. My, this is my iPhone, it's in action mode, so hopefully we're losing some of this shake. Probably gonna get some, but hoping this sounds good. We're not gonna have any problems with audio here. I don't think so. We will see. As you can see, I'm riding around. This microphone is just flopping around everywhere. I'm not running extra slow for this or anything. I'm hoping it sounds really good, even though I'm running and causing a little bit of wind. If this works, I can see it being really cool for people who are very active, doing things outdoors, adventures, filming a lot on their phone, things like that and not having to do heavy editing with audio. So here we're gonna do a little microphone and audio test with these three microphones. The first being the Lark M2 microphone right here in the middle of my shirt. The second being the Lark Max system. This microphone is on the neck of my shirt. The third is the Sennheiser Boom microphone right in front of me, which is being fed straight into camera and being laid over this footage. Here is the audio of the Lark M2 microphone. Here is the audio of the Lark Max microphone. And then here is the audio from the Sennheiser Boom microphone. I will say that after using the Lark M2 system on my phone and my camera, and after reviewing that footage and audio, I do believe that this system is best used with a phone. When used on the FX3 or, or other cameras, it tends to be very harsh, the audio. It's not fully blown out, but it's right on the edge, it seems like, even with the gain turned down as low as I can get it to go. I hope it's not a user error. If it is, apologies. But I've seen and noticed that when you use it on your phone, everything is dampened down and the loud noises are canceled out really well. And it, it, it has a little bit more professional sound when it's used with a phone. I think with a phone, it is automatically leveling sounds out and it gives you a really nice sound. Whereas with a camera like the FX3, I think it's giving you more of a manual user experience, but I don't believe the results are as good as when using it with your phone. So I believe this Hollyland Lark M2 system is good when used correctly. And when I say use correctly, I mean when it's worn on your top layer of clothes, I don't think it should be worn underneath any clothes, like under a sweater or definitely not under a, like a fleece jacket or something that makes a lot of noise. And then I believe it should usually primarily be used with phones, just from an ease of use and from results standpoint, the audio, when using these microphones with your phone is is really good. Like I said, 
it's really dampened it, it blocks out any really loud noises and it, it keeps your voice at a really nice level as where a phone it's much louder you also have to worry about the gain on the top whereas with a phone it's just taken care of automatically. So if you're looking for probably one of the easiest ways to get good audio for your phone footage, look no further than the Hollyland Lark M2. It's as easy as plugging it in and pressing record. Thanks again for watching this video, for making it all the way to the end. I'm not planning on just this being a review channel, but I appreciate you watching it anyways. It means the world as always for any of you to watch any of my content. Thank you. Have a great one. See ya.